Hey guys, this is Soma and welcome to my lifestyle. Today's video is a cold process soap. The recipe, the original one is from Soap Queen TV, but I have used a rose water, which is distilled instead of the plain one. Now I'm just chopping the aloe vera leaf, the entire leaf, and using a food processor to get it pureed. I've added the rose water plus lye to all my oils. I'm using the stick blender only for a few seconds. And this is the first time I'm using the rose water and it smells so awesome. As you see, I'm just using the stick blender to reach emulsification. Then I've added the aloe vera puree and used the stick blender for a few seconds. Then I'll be dividing the butter into three containers. Then I will be adding the colors that are the titanium dioxide, the chrome green oxide and dehydrated chrome green oxide. Then I'll be adding the blend of the fragrance oils that are the tobacco, bay leaf and leather. It smells very masculine or maybe unisex. Then I'm pouring almost or less than half of the white part tab just to get rid of any bubbles then I'm adding slowly and carefully the green part and make sure not to break the bottom one then now with the light green part and as you see I'm using a spoon it's very important not to break the underneath color then again I'll be adding most of the white part and leaving a little bit or saving it for later then again the dark green and the light green and make sure to tap it to get rid of any bubbles. With the swirl and this is the show of the, uh, the or the start of the show, insert it all the way down, move it a little bit forward like around half centimeter up, move it forward half centimeter down, up and down till you reach the end. For the save part or the white part, I've spread it all the way through and I couldn't do it without mica. Unfortunately, I'm using the light gold mica and um, a green mica from Brambleberry. Then with this keyword, just swirling a little bit like an infinity kind of sign. I'm going to be spraying the soap with 99% rubbing alcohol. I have covered it the next day. Look what happened, it turned a little bit pink, which is kind of weird. Then, 24 hours later, that's how it looked. A very, very light pinkish color. So now for the cut, I'm going to just trim it or trim um, the beginning of the soap or the end of the soap. And this is not a soap cutter because a lot of people ask me this is a cheese cutter. And here is the inside swirl. It looks awesome. It smells magnificent. I'm going to leave the soap from four to six weeks to cure. And then, of course, it's going to be ready to be used. I hope you like the video. If you do, please share it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so very much for watching and see you very soon. Bye bye.